important for most of the game. And so all square grandstand finish. Swan building the ball forward. Sinclair waits and eludes and Sinclair goes bang. And oh, Collingwood are in front. He's had two shots in the last quarter, Sinclair. He turned Fletcher inside out. Got to be brave here. The Bombers not only putting their head over the ball, but actually attacking the dangerous parts of the ground. Can't afford to play safe. Be bold, be brave. Well, historically, Essendon have won the close ones on this day, save for that draw, that very first one. Collingwood has led for over 100 minutes in this match. Essendon for just six. Collingwood back in front. Standing at half-back. Drives it long beyond the wing. It's two on one. To the in front. Working behind the big guy. Couldn't do very much with that. It's close to the boundary line. Jolly comes again, though, with that ample frame. Got the ball up. So, if in fact Essendon win, does Swan still get the Anzac Day medal? Very hard to find a dominant, dominant bomber player. It seems all the good players are on the Collingwood side of things, and yet they lead by a point. Remarkable. Watson thumps it about 20 metres with Dash Zaharakis on a collision course there with Maxwell, pushed across the line by Melcham in the boundary throw-in. They're just getting a little bit more speed around the yeah. stoppages this last five minutes, isn't it? How helpless do you feel at this stage in the box? Steve? Oh, no, you're basically just a, spe a spectator now. Willingham caught up. Howl it through his fingers. Swan gains some meterage and a little bit of time. Doors runs it over. So it's 74 to 73. It's 10 goals 14 to 10 goals 13. That was the score in 1966 when St Kilda beat Collingwood. It's one of the most famous score lines in AFL history. Well, Aussie rules, I should say. Very much a VFL game in those days. Secured as one and only, eh? But this is a different day. What a contest. And a boundary throw-in. Got a feel for the confidence of the young player. Del Delolio just took the ball in the one hand. He knows his own abilities. Alan Davies coming on. Got to get on the burst, get moving. Boundary throw-in then. Jolly hooks it down into the path of Hocking. He kicked it a little prematurely. Upwards Maxwell couldn't complete the mark. It falls to Wellingham. Tackled immediately by Cranry. He's a strong man, Cranry. Got him down. Watson tries to dig it out of the pack. Wanting it at close quarters. Ballot was upended. It comes to Ryder. Ryder the high ball. How will it bounce? The wrong way. Well, the right way as it turned out for the Bombers. Carlisle, Stanton. Stanton, the unlikeliest of heroes today. It's a great saying in footy, it can't always be a day, but it can be a moment. And Brett Stans had a tough sort of day, Lee, but gets an opportunity with two minutes to go, has to make the most of it. But he's, he's really, you can see he's kept going. When you're having a bad day, it's easy to emotionally really get down in the dumps. And one thing about Stan, he runs as hard as any player in the competition, and he was the extra number that come from upfield to get in there to support that uh, bad bounce that got Carlisle that first possession. Tell you what, Ryder's been good in the ruck yeah. too. I mean, just that extra energy late in the game is just providing that little bit extra around the stoppage area for, uh, for Essendon. Haven't been in front since the 12th minute mark of the first quarter. They are now. Collingwood need a goal. Pendlebury out of the centre. Towards half forward. hugel has been good. Side bottom smother important. Quick kick forward by Maxwell. Who's underneath it? Fletcher couldn't get a hand on it. Cloaks there. Well played by Carlisle in the back, or rather Hooker in the back half. Out wide, Collingwood with the numbers. Pendlebury's good at thinking his way through things. Left foot, and Essendon couldn't quite get to it. Sinclair's been bubbly late, hasn't he? How far does he go in with the kick to full forward? Cloak, not quite. Blair, Collingwood back in front. <laughs> we'll just check. Okay. Official score. We'll just check. Yeah. The ball came off the boot. Yeah. It's come off under the knee. Okay. Review underway. Thank you. Did you see him get a kick? Yeah. Definitely got a kick. Yeah. Okay, thanks.
completed. Confirm goal. Who <laughs> said a review can be exciting? Oh, I reckon they are exciting, to be honest. I mean, people sort of worry about the game being held up for 30 seconds, but I think it adds enormous tension to the game while it's being verified exactly what happened. I was just thinking when the Bombers hit the front, there was another review that would have been dissected and slow mo Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, still could happen. Collingwood in that third term denied a goal. Ryder hocking Watson Stanton. That's the best ball they've got, the Bombers. Look at the centre bounce. Clearance is important. They're trying to find numbers back, Collingwood. Jolly Wellingham, Pendlebury Swan. The eight best midfielders in the Suzerkers at the moment. Essendon had the run. Blair stopped them in their tracks. Ryder, though, has other ideas. Dunaboy's half forward. Just over a minute to go. Davies tackled. Umpire will ball it up. So it's now or never. If they can control the footy from here, Collingwood, they could run it out. James Hurd leans forward in the chair. The hot seat. Davy Dunaboy's full forward. Cranberry almost staggers after the football. Leo was waiting. Loose ball. Spills behind the Hocking. Hocking to Heppel. And Brian grabs it, kicks it in the one motion. Tracking it back is Hardingham. 50 seconds. Hardingham centering it. And Eugle takes the mark. You've got to take the punt. That's fair enough yeah. from Hardingham. But as soon as it's turned over, well, now it's only a matter where the... Oh! oh. So the advantage is given. Watson kicks the ball forward. Jetta, it will go out. Not quite. Still in. Cranberry, can he get it back? He's a strong man. He throws it out. Collingwood hack it out. How long to go? Well, it's 20 seconds. And the man of the match, the Anzac Meglis, has the last say. And the runners will be out there making sure Swan knows it's the countdown from 20 seconds. 42nd possession for Swan. It was long down the line. The champion of the day will have the final say as he kicks the ball down the line. What a game. What a win. <laughs> Closest margin ever but for the draw. Collingwood win by point on Anzac Day.